we need to take out this shoulder there because that's too thick and heavy and too long and then it turns the wrong way so stretch the skin if, you, if they've got loose skin and they might have this is a very stubborn bit on his neck See, when you strip them nice and tight, the muscle definition that the top coat shows, uh, even though he's still not super tightly stripped, because I just don't do it often enough. But no. And the reason I'm trying all these tools because I would like to. Uh, Compete in grooming with a setter. The problem is, they don't give you enough time to fully complete and hand strip. Uh, you see, it's looking so much better, and you can see his definition um, everywhere. So, we've just got to strip out more, and that's why you don't want to have a bulky coat. Here's a different one for there, for the body. That one's a bit harsh as we go in here. Now this is Magna Carta by Oronco. Very uh, gentle blade compared to the Sumo Raker. And I want to also take out um, some of this so I'll just neaten this out with the Magna Carta just to take some now if you use this weekly it, it will keep your top coat you can see how decent it's by no means perfect but um, I've been using the rubber comb on him weekly or a good rake with this and it just stops the coat from growing too wild and then you have too much to do. Now, I prefer that some can grow feathers really high up. Now, he's been shaved off down there and you can see that's all he's grown back, um, which is not bad for six months to the day. So I'm leaving a bit of this more than I would like to, just because he's missing all that hair underneath. So this is a bit covering it, but ideally I will take out some of that because, no, you need to turn that way. I'll have to keep him this way because it needs to be stretched. See, for once it's really brown and fuzzy and frizzy looking and doesn't look nice when it's dried. But also when you've got, and he has got a really nice deep chest, his chest comes exactly to the elbow. So um, by removing some of this, I will highlight it more that he has got a lovely deep chest because correctly on furnished breeds, which this is furnishings, there's a gene for it, why these feathers grow specifically in certain areas. And um, there's all your spaniels there as well, are furnished breeds and um, setters also and other breeds, but these furnishings, ah, ah, ah. now correctly, all they need, up you get, is really what grows from underneath. So in theory, they shouldn't really have excessive hair here. Um, and also on their legs. No, just on. Um, we'll get back to the back legs, but correctly, they should have the feathers coming from underneath and not from halfway up the rib cage. That's not right. Um, they don't need it. Although if the hair is beautiful and it lays really well, you can keep it. 
but if it's fuzzy and brown and horrible like his one, um, I'd rather take it out and also it really does give him a deeper chest and actually it can actually even look like they've got more hair or longer featherings by taking the sides out and leaving the ones that should be under there. See this Magna Carta takes out a load of coat at once. Stay there darling, I'm going quick I promise. So I'm just trying to move this line and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a straight line. It should go from the elbow. You can see where his feathers are growing. So it should come from elbow slightly up into the waist because that's the way that his rib cage goes up there. So not a straight line because that, that does look really strange and very weird. Stay. I'll have to pull his skin from underneath and keep it tight because you have to keep a knife on a 45 degree angle stripping knife uh, to remove the coat correctly. And there should be a lot of the brown junk coming out. Took like the last there's your brown junk and he said we don't want that there good boy we want nice and black hair we know my darling no not yet we're not finished up no no please don't don't spinning around stay Neo. come on stay so we, we're now i don't know if it's obvious enough we'll compare pictures of before and after. He's got a hunch because he hasn't got room to stand correctly. Uh, we'll compare pic pictures and see what looks, whether he looks like he's got a bit more hair. And then we'll do a ah, stay. Then I can do the light touch up and some of the brands that I can see just very lightly because the brown dead ones, they come out easily. So if I just go really lightly over there, hoping to grip only the, br the brown ones. That's why I like to do this in the bright sunlight. Because that shows you really nicely what you need to take out. Stay. And also here, he's, he's a nice short boy in the loin. So we don't need to cover up his loin. We'll take some of the junk. Neo, stop. Stop now. I wish dogs understood that if they stand still, I'll get it done quicker. If I have to keep telling him that I to stand still and have to keep stopping the work, it's just taking longer. But I can't seem to be able to explain that to him. 